welcome to Only on Outdoor Fun video episode number 10. My name is Sophia and I am early child educator working at Only on Luminous Community Services. Today we'll be looking at some activities that you can do outside and you can enjoy at home uh, when it's too cold to go outside and we'll be reading a book together. Hope you enjoy today's video and let's get started! The snowy day. One winter morning, Peter woke up and looked out the window. Snow had fallen during the night. It covered everything as far as he could see. After breakfast, he put on his snowsuit and ran outside. The snow was piled up very high along the street to make a path for walking. Crunch, crunch, crunch. His feet sank into the snow. He walked with his toes pointing out like that. He walked with his toes pointing in like that. Then he dragged his feet slowly to make tracks. And he found something sticking out of the snow that made a new track. It was a stick, a stick that was just right for smacking a snow-covered tree. Down fell the snow, plop, on top of Peter's head. He thought it would be fun to join the big boys in their snowball fight, but he knew he wasn't old enough, not yet. So, he made a smiling snowman and he made angels. He pretended he was a mountain climber. He climbed up a great big tall hipping mountain of snow and slid all the way down. He picked up a handful of snow and another and still another. He packed it round and firm and put the snowball in his pocket for tomorrow. Then he went into his warm house. He told his mother all about his adventures while she took off his wet socks. And he thought and thought and thought about them. Before he got into bed, he looked in his pocket. His pocket was empty. The snowball wasn't there. He felt very sad. While he slept, he dreamed that the snow had melted all the snow away. But when he woke up, his dream was gone. The snow was still everywhere. New snow was falling. After breakfast, he called to his friend up from across the hall, and they went out together into the deep, deep snow. Alright, so for the first activity, we're going to need Velcro, small balls, mittens, and scissors. So first, we're going to need a few Velcro pieces that are going to be placed on the surface of objects that we uh, prepared. So it's going to be a ball and a pair of mittens. When cutting the velcros, uh, please be mindful of the sizes of mittens and the ball. It depends on how big or small your mittens or balls are. Uh, you can cut the pieces in different size than mine. If it is smaller than mine, you can cut it smaller. Uh, but do make sure that you don't cut it too small as it can be hard for your children to catch the ball with it. For parents and caregivers, please remember to um, supervise your child when they are using the scissors. When you finish cutting, you can now place them onto the balls and the mittens. Once you are done putting those velcros uh, pieces on the balls and mittens, now you can try tossing and catching it yourself to see if it is easy 
um, enough for children to play with. Here I am going to add another piece of velcro on the ball and as well as on the mittens so that when the ball stick to the mittens then it can hold firmly. Now we're almost done and it's time to play. You can play at home or you can bring it outside to play. Okay, now we're going to do our second activity. We're going to need small toys and a ball. Fill up bowl with water first, then you can put toys in the water. We're going to keep it in the freezer until it becomes a hard ice. Now this is how it looks like after I kept it for a while in the freezer. So it's time to bring it outside. Here I brought a cup, salt and tray outside with me, of course with my toys um, frozen in the ice. Now it's time to start our experiment. So we're going to place the ice um, on the tray and get your salt ready. Now sprinkle salt on the ice and see what happens. To see the result better, I am going to sprinkle salt on the half side of the ice and on the other side, I'm going to put snow to see if the other side is melting faster than the other ones. And here I wanted to see how fast salt can melt the snow. So on the uh, corner of the, my tray where it um, has an empty space, I put a cup of snow and I mix it with the salt. And for comparison, I'm going to put some clear snow on the other side of the corner and see how snow with salt melts faster than the other uh, scoop of snow. And let's see what happened to the snow with salt. Um, it became a slush not long after. And the snow without salt 
it melted a little bit, but still I was able to see some part did not melt. Were you able to rescue your toys out of the ice? How long did it take for you? Would it be different if the ice was smaller? Maybe you can do your second experiment. And for our last activity, we're going to see why ocean does not freeze. Water of ocean has ingredient that makes it salty, and lake is just large water bodies surrounded by land. So here I have tablespoon of uh, salt on the plate and I have two cups of water. And now we are going to mix salt in the one of the cups of water. Stir it well until you see almost no uh, salt in the water. It was about minus 15 outside and let's see how those two cups of water freeze. I marked the cup of water with salt with letter S so I can distinguish which one was for the ocean later on. I was able to see the water without salt uh, started to freeze slowly from the surface and the water with salt did not. I wish you had a fun doing this experiment and playing games and we'll see you next time. Bye bye!